Hey guys, Alex here from the L7 YouTube channel. I didn't think I would ever have to make a video like this or even post it on the, my main channel here. Maybe post something like this on my A1 Photo Fun YouTube channel, but I kind of feel the need to use my platform here for something good and bring some awareness to a critical issue that seems to be happening pretty often here in the United States and through Indeed. So as you guys know, I graduated from Moravian College on May 11th of 2019. The following day, May 12th, I traveled to Florida. I was there for three weeks. I was working, you know, you guys know from following me here on this YouTube channel, my one photo fun YouTube channel working or, um, you know, posting on Instagram and whatnot. I work as a professional photographer and videographer. And uh, that's what I did in Florida. I put together several like photographic series, did a vlog series. I did some video work there. It was overall a very great time. So since I got back, um, I applied for about 16 to 20 jobs on Indeed. Everyone uses it. Most college students or grads use it. A lot of people use it to get jobs, right? And there's also Craigslist and I make posts on there to do you know my photo and video work. and. Um, just like this week in general is, is very busy for me. I have two art gallery show openings this week. I have two on Thursday, pretty much back to back. I'm part of an animation festival that, you know, I submitted some animations for. I'm having a vendor table there. That's from Thursday to Sunday. Yesterday I was in Stroudsburg. Um, you know, I work with several clients here in the Lehigh Valley. And uh, now I'm working with some clients up in Stroudsburg. I'm working with a television production uh, studio or television network. And um, I have a lot going on and, you know, that's the only way to succeed here, especially here in Pennsylvania as a photographer and videographer and other places like Florida. Yes, it was much easier in New York. It's easier in California. There's a lot of competition, but there's a ton of, you know, photo and media, you know, kind of work out there and available. Maybe if I was in Phil Philadelphia, things would be a little easier, but I'm not in Philadelphia. So whatever the case may be, I applied for plenty of jobs. I got an email from this company called GWA Group Limited. So um, they had a very handsome offer. They were offering a large amount of money per hour, which seemed pretty crazy and substantial. Again, this, this was a job position for photography, being a photographer and like, you know, digital marketing videos and, and stuff like that. And they were offering me like $50 an hour. Again, seems very crazy. One of my best friends graduated from Penn State, Maine as an aerospace engineer. He has a bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. He works for Pratt & Whitney in Florida, and it's one of the premier uh, aerospace engineering firms in the United States. And he's making around like 35 an hour. Yeah, so he's doing very well for himself. And I'm thinking, me as a photographer, videographer, marketing guy for some random company why am i being paid more than my friend just doesn't add up right so um this company contacted me the, the email was very long it again there was a very handsome offer and they were offering on top of the highly uh, hourly pay there was uh you know um bonuses uh full-time or just like benefits uh paid time off etc cetera, etc cetera. seemed very great but again just seemed a little off so i went with it anyways uh there was a questionnaire and a lot of the questions were about photography videography video production so on and so forth and that's stuff i love to talk about so yeah i had fun filling out the application and submitting it then they were they wanted to send me more information which they did it was like information about the job, so on and so forth, the pay I'd be starting on. Uh, they wanted me to start June 24th, like immediately. It, again, it's July 9th, 2019. So um, I told them the soonest I could start July 15th because I have all this stuff going on this week and this just wasn't gonna work. And they said, that's fine. So they, they are offering work in the morning shifts, evening shifts and like afternoon shifts with their high paying amount per hour, with all the benefits, so on and so forth. Um, interesting thing was that I saw in the job description, they require you to have a Panasonic Lumix G7, which I have here in my photography bag. I'm recording on my Panasonic Lumix G9, the next step in the series, the uh, professional version of Centrally. It's a fantastic professional camera. The other thing noted there was requiring a Nikon D850, which is a very expensive camera from Nikon. It's one of their best professional cameras. So they want you to have professional gear for this job. Um, 
At the end of the job requirements, they asked me for my name, number, and home address to send me a check. This check here, they wanted uh, me to take this amount of $3,500, take it to an ATM, uh, cash it there. The following day, order this Nikon D850, have it sent to my house overnight, right? Well, turns out things just seemed very odd about this check. I went to my local BB&T bank. I spoke to them. They said it does seem pretty off, especially where it says officials check, official with an apostrophe S. That shouldn't be there. Uh, we got in contact with Athlon Savings Bank. They're located in Massachusetts. We talked, on the, that, talked to them on the phone for about 10 minutes. We gave them the routing number, check number, and account number. We sent them a picture, and I sent that via email. bb and sent them a fax. They got back to us in 10 minutes. Turns out this was a completely fraudulent check. This account number on this check does not exist. So again, they wanted me to take this $3,500 to an ATM, not a human being. I would take it, I would cash it. The following day, this $3,500 would appear in my account on top of all the other money I have in the account. I would spend my money and they wanted me to order this Nikon D850 from their certified vendor website, some vendor they're working with, uh, they've been working with for several years. So they wanted me to essentially spend my own $3,000 because I checked this morning, a Nikon D850 is $2,995. They wanted me to buy that and uh, send them their this amount of money to then not receive a Nikon D850 and then disappear. Um, so yeah, before I even received this check, I wanted to do a phone interview. I had to initiate a phone interview, which seems very odd because most companies would either want to do a phone interview or just do you know physical in-person interview. But since this is like a photography marketing job, they wanted me to do it, I guess, over the phone. It would be the best solution. And um, looking into GW Australia, you know, they show up on the st stock market and such. Um, it's an Australian appliance company. So I thought I was gonna be doing like product photography or something. Maybe they would ship a micro microwave or some products to the house and I'd be taking photos and videos of them. I don't know. Um, I'm just thinking here. And uh, so that's what I thought the job would be. Turns out um, this person I spoke to, which I've been talking to this whole time, Harrison Parker, um, you know, when we did the phone interview, it was, it was a man with like a very heavy Asian accent. It was very hard to understand over the phone and it just seemed so very off. So I was very thrown off and, uh, you know, I, again, I tried going through with it anyways, but I wanted to get this verified with an actual person who better understands this. And it turns out the check was fake. Athlon also mentioned, you know, the account number didn't exist and they got like the logo partially wrong with the Athlon check here. So uh, it turns out this is an ongoing issue here in the United States. Um, some woman unfortunately got scammed, a recent college grad from Oklahoma, completely different job field. Um, she also received a check like this. She cashed it into her ATM and then her, I guess her entire uh, bank account locked up. So when I was at bb &T, we got in contact with the Bethlehem police, they showed up and turns out there's really not much they can do about it because this is an Australian company. The thing or case may be that this guy, Harrison Parker, um, probably has nothing to do with this GWA group because GWA appears to be a real Australian company. He might be posing as being part of the company scamming thousands of people. The other thing that seemed very odd was the number where we did the phone interview on was through a Google phone number and we used to talk on that beforehand. And then um, today with having the check, uh, he started contacting me from a Texas Google phone number. It's, a, you know, the Google phone app. You can go to like Target, get a Google Play card of like $25, put minutes on it and whatnot, and, you know. So there's two fake, essentially fake numbers this guy's trying to contact me from and uh, just things really we're not checking out. So the point of this video is just to bring awareness to other recent college grads or other people using Indeed or Craigslist to find jobs. And you know, if an offer sounds too good to be true, uh, you gotta be on your toes. You gotta watch out for things like this because apparently this is happening to a lot of people. If you take the time to go on, um, if you take the time to go on Google, like look up GWA Group Limited, Harrison Parker. It took me to a thread of Google search results on Indeed and LinkedIn. And there was like a comment thread about scams happening here 
in the United States and that name Harrison Parker was flagged and appears several times. There's also several other fake business people popping up and scamming other people. Now, this was a money scam. They didn't ask for my social security number, but unfortunately, I guess in other cases, depending on what kind of job field you're applying for, these scammers are trying to get you for, they may ask for your social security number uh, when you know trying to set things up. So I avoided identity theft here, and thankfully I avoided sending them you know, $2,995. So, Again, if you guys know anybody, you know, you know, just share this on social media. I'm sure there's a lot of recent college grads or people in their junior and senior year of college looking for jobs. And, you know, when companies like this or people posing to be companies are offering beautiful looking job offers to people and, you know, you're in college, you got to pay off these loans and loans are, you know, 500 to 600 or more a month, depending on your plan, like you need something solid. And if someone's offering you 40 to $50 or more per hour with benefits and all that, yeah, you seem perfect and set. So again, if you receive any oddball offers, if there's typos in your Indeed uh, job application or any job application for maybe even LinkedIn, just be careful. And the other problem is I tried contacting LinkedIn, or I'm sorry, I tried contacting Indeed of course, Indeed doesn't have like a public open phone number so I can call them and bring this to their attention because personally, I would love to get this fake GWA Group Limited cut off of Indeed and um, potentially save a lot of people from giving their up their hard-earned money to some scammer out there who's not going to send them a camera or any equipment for any sort of job and for any people that are getting scammed out of their social security number and identity. So I just figured I'd use my platform here on YouTube of my number of subscribers. And I'm hoping you guys you know, could take the time to take this video and share it on social media, Facebook, whatever else is out there that everyone's using. Just share it out there and get this message out there. Hopefully we can bring this sort of issue to Indeed's attention and Indeed, Craigslist, uh, LinkedIn, and these other you know job related or event gig related applications can become more aware of this and hopefully do something about this because after talking to the people at bb the police department and uh, this Athlon Savings Bank, this seems to be an ongoing issue and um, they do get several calls like this, you know, a few times a week of just scammers out there trying to take either people's identity or a large lump sum of money, you know, 500 or to like $5,000 and uh, just run off with it. If you're if you're receiving calls or texts from a Google phone number and it's job related, you know, just they, these are red flags that you need to be aware of. And I, it's clear to see that a lot of people are not aware of these red flags. And it's funny because after these people were this Harrison Parker guy was hassling about hassling me about the check, take it to the bank, take send a picture of the ATM receipt so I can see you you deposited your money. Um, and then the following day, once the check clears, take the money and spend it on our fake website and then to, to never receive the Nikon D850. So uh, after I told them I took, to, took it to the bank and Athlon confirmed it as fraudulent, it was funny, they replied that the check is not fake, uh, neither fraudulent. And I was like, well, call me sometime soon because I would love to get your side of the story. And then they had the audacity to, <laughs> to even after talking to the bank teller, so why not take this check and deposit it via ATM or mobile deposit? And I was like, I'm not going to do that because the check won't clear, it's fake. And then they reply, it surely will clear. So I said, call me. I, um, I, I was telling them that the police took the check and to please call me because I would love to get more interest. I would love to get more information on their side of the story. And then of course uh, they said, hold on, I will call you. And that's the last I've heard of them. So. Clearly, they aren't the least bit interested about their fake check. Um, I imagine if the check was real, they would have called me several times today. But um, just the whole scenario and the whole setup just seemed off from the get-go. When I got the email, I was reading through it, and there were like typos, and it you could just tell someone foreign was typing it, I guess, or messed up some sections of it. It just seemed very off. And Again, this doesn't just happen with like GWA Australia. This The woman from Oklahoma got scammed by a European company. If I mentioned that um, when I was talking to Athlon, 
There was a girl, recent college grad from Oklahoma, got scammed by some European person. Um, there was also a report that the police told me this happened to somebody here in the United States and they got scammed from somebody in Africa and they sent over a large lump sum of money to Africa and uh, they never got their end of the deal. So again, uh, just be wary that this happens quite often. And if there's any way possible, we can get Indeed involved uh, in LinkedIn and these other job applications just to bring some awareness. And if they could do something about their systems and filter out these scams, that would be great for everybody else. Because again, some people are possibly foolish enough or don't put the pieces together to realize that this is fraudulent. So again, I, I wanted to go through with it and uh, verify this the, the bank routing number and the account number to see if it was real or not. And clearly this was set up as a whole scam, but hoping maybe we can figure out more about the FedEx overnight shipping, maybe who, who mailed this over. And um, I mean, they paid for the overnight shipping, but I'm sure if they're sending these scams out to a thousand people, if they at least get 10 people interested and those 10 people are tricked into sending over money, then the scammer or group of scammers are profit profiting pretty big every week. So that's pretty much for this story time. <laughs> uh, if anything, you know, give the video a thumbs up. Please share this on social media. I would love to hear if you or if you know anybody who has possibly been scammed by any of these groups through Indeed or LinkedIn. Again, I'm just very surprised because a lot of companies do actually work through Indeed and LinkedIn. I would expect something like this from Craigslist, since anybody can really post on there, but like LinkedIn or, or uh, Indeed is just kind of very surprising to see um, these scams are coming through their website. And again, I haven't heard from this company. If they do have the audacity to call me back, I'll try to record the phone call and maybe do a possible follow up video. But again, um, I, I mean, I understand for some people, especially depending on what job fields you're in, if you're a photographer, a video producer, uh, the job market and field is very tough to work with, especially here in the Lehigh Valley. A lot of people are trying to cut you deals and, you know, not pay you and it's a whole mess. So I'm thankful that I work with several clients that are very reliable, that have, you know, good running businesses and we have like healthy business relationships um, just working with these various companies. So uh, I'm doing my best to, you know, just do my hustle and grind here and uh, be successful. But I understand for a lot of people, people are very, are having a very tough time and struggling out there depending on their job field. And you know, they'll take whatever offer they see, they see that looks good. So if I'm sure if someone else receives an offer like this, uh, yeah, they'll take the check and, you know, send it over and stuff. I probably would have believed this offer a bit more if they would have just offered instead of sending me the check to just send me a Nikon D850. I would have loved to see what comes in the mail. Um, but yeah, for these online jobs, you got to be careful. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious if I would have cast a check, what would have happened? What would have the website have been? Because I would love to report what the fake website is to save people money. But um I figured this would be enough to get this message out there and I know this was quite a long story but I figured I had to do my part and uh, share this with everybody so again if anyone has any comments or stories of their own related to this or Indeed or LinkedIn please leave it in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful at all give the video a thumbs up and then share it on your social media platforms to bring more awareness to this issue because this seems to be I guess quite the epidemic that pff, I had no idea existed and Fortunately, these con artists are getting away with it. So that's all I got for this video. Uh, back to our regularly uh, tuned programming on this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.